Hello, people. Good evening. Can you hear me? How are you today? Hello. Good evening. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Very good. Excellent. Okay, people, let's get started this evening. Start with the attendance, so please respond when you hear your name. Okay. Ada Verónica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present. Okay, welcome. Alicia Pérez Gavidia. Yes. Andrea Isabel Siu. Brenda Claribel Mejía. It's me. Good evening. Good evening. Cecilio Antonio Cortez. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Claudia Maria Gomez. Good evening, present teacher. Welcome. Diana Patricia Orantes. Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Present teacher. I'm here. Welcome, Jennifer Nouset Arevalo. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Catherine Marielos Melendez. Present teacher. Welcome. Lenin Hernandez Flores. Present teacher. I am in class. Okay. Thank Pero, you. Luis Alfredo Aguilar. Mary Abigail Fuentes. Miguel Antonio Rodríguez. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. Noé Ezequiel Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Norma Lisette Crespin. Present teacher. Okay. Olivia Raquel Rodríguez. Present. Okay. Oscar Alexander Domínguez. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Reina Isabel Romero. Hello. Hello. And Silvia Esther Rivera. Good evening. I'm here. 
Okay. Quick review. Alicia Perez. Andrea Isabel. Present teacher. Oh, Alicia. Okay. Diana Patricia, Juan Antonio, Luis Alfredo, Maris. Present teacher. Maris. Present. Maris, Abigail. Yeah. Miguel Antonio, Nelson Eduardo. Okay. okay. Well, last class, we finished talking about these questions in present perfect. Oh, let me go back here to practice. Okay, so I'm going to ask you these questions and I don't want the answer from the book. No, okay, I don't want the answer from the book. I want your personal answer, okay? So, I don't want this. Okay, what's going on? It's not working. Okay, so I don't want the answers from the book. I want your personal response, okay? Your personal answer, not this one, All right? So I'm going to cover this. I don't want this answer. I don't want this answer. I don't want this. I don't want this. We are going to use the questions, but you have to respond with real answer, okay? So, for example, let me start with uh, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Brenda. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. Ah, okay. Okay, Brenda, have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Yes. Okay. I also did I watching the sunset. Okay, remember, but we are talking in past. Um, okay, I... Sorry, I... I am blocked. <laughs> yes, I I have. Yes, I have. Yes, I have been to a picnic. Oh, okay. Yes, I have. That's okay. Oh, okay. Uh, but when you said about the, the sunset. Um, How would you say yo he visto el, la puesta del sol? O yo vi la puesta del sol. How would you past, say that in English? In past, right? Sure. Um, did? Yo vi la puesta del sol. I see the sunset. I saw the sunset. I See, think. is past or present? 
I is ah seeing. Sorry, I froze the. <laughs> it's over no problem, in there. No problem. So I'm. <laughs> I know the information is in your head. Okay. I know the information is there. I'm just carving. Estoy escarbando para que salga. Okay. okay. So, yo vi el, la puesta del sol. Vamos. What is the past form of C? Oh. Ajá. C. What is, people? The past form of C? Oh. Do you hear, Brenda? <laughs> So, so, algo así? Yes, so. Okay, okay. thanks. How would you say, yo vi la puesta del sol? Okay. I, I saw uh -huh. the sunset. Okay, that's it. Very good. Thanks. Okay. No problem. We are here to learn, okay? Now, let me continue with Eugenio, Eugene. Hello. Ah, hello, how are you? Okay. <laughs> Tell me, did you have dinner at home last night? Yes, I did. Okay. What did yes, you I have? Did. What did you have for dinner? I have a uh, chicken and potatoes and beans. Okay. This is my. Can you repeat, please? Diet. This is my diet. Okay. Can you repeat the, the no? But repeat the complete sentence. What did you have for dinner? Uh, I have a dinner. I have. Take it. I easy. have. Ah, okay, okay. I have a uh, chicken and potato and beans. Okay, very good. I have for for, for my diet. Okay, good. Okay. The, the, other, the, the other people the other people can hear me need a diet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good. Thank you, Eugene. Now let me see. Um Catherine. Hello, Catherine. One, two, not there. Okay, Luis. Luis Alfredo. Hello, teacher. Good night. Good evening. Good evening, Luis. Okay, Luis. Have you have you tried sushi? Um. Yes. Only. Only one, only one, only one time. Oh. Okay, where, where did you try sushi? Uh, I don't, I don't like this, uh, this food, no. Okay. Uh, it's, uh... It's, fish, it's fish and, and only fish and rice. Uh-huh. But, but my my question but, you know, my question is where did you try sushi? Uh, I I don't understand it. Where did you try sushi? Mm -hmm. Yes, I try. Where? 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 Where I try it? I try it. Where? Where did you 
eat sushi. Where? Mm, ah, ya. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Um, in Plaza Mundo uh, is a restaurant. Uh, Japan food. Ah, okay. And in Soyapango City, Plaza Mundo. But don't like this food. Okay. Okay, but we are talking in past. How would you say no me gustó? I no me gustó like el sushi. It. Ajá, Luis. No me gustó el sushi. Uh, I didn't I didn't like the sushi. Ah, okay. I didn't like sushi okay good now okay. let me continue with norma hi norma norma okay so no eh Yes, teacher. Okay, Noe, did you have breakfast this morning? Yes. Uh, uh, can I? Si yes. Uh, uh -huh. Yes, uh, a little um, beans, um, banana, and uh, coffee. Um, okay. Uh, eso sería. Okay. What time did you eat breakfast today? What time did you eat breakfast today? Um, I I eat um in morning um six a.m. at six a.m. I eat. It is present or past. <coughs> it is present or past? Um, past. It. It, it, it is present. It. Uh, you say I eat this morning at six. It is present. What is the past form of it? I don't know. <laughs> what is the past form of it? Help people. I ate around at 6 a.m. Eight. Okay, Noe. Noe. Hola, hola. How would you say yo comí a las seis de la mañana? ocuparía el did no 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 I have it no dine no no I ate 
I ate breakfast at 6 a.m. I ate breakfast at 6 a.m. Okay, let's continue. Let me go now with Olivia. Hello, Olivia. Hello. Olivia, have you ever eaten at a Mexican restaurant? Um, no. No. Never. No? Okay. No. Okay. Um, how can, what can I ask you? When or oh, when was the last time you ate in a restaurant? When was the last time you ate in a restaurant? Um, yesterday. Yesterday. Where? Where did you go? Um, <laughs> okay, give me a sentence. Yo fui al pollo campero. I went to hmm? Pueblo Campero. Yes, that's correct. Very good. Very good. Uh, Teacher. Yes. What is the difference in the eight and eating? Please. Eight. Eight and eating. Eight is simple past. And eating? Eden is past participle. Okay, thanks. I ate in Pollo Campero yesterday. I have eaten in Pollo Campero before. Remember, with, with simple past, we are talking about a specific time, a specific event. With present perfect, we do not specify, okay? That is the difference. All right, people, let's see. Let's continue with, okay, Reina. Hello, I thought you have forget about me. You have forgotten bone. <laughs> okay. No, the, the, there are a lot. Okay, Reina, have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Um, no, I haven't, but I love to. Okay. When was the last time you went to the beach? Yesterday. Really <laughs> nice. Oh, I couldn't. I couldn't. Um, I, I couldn't take a shower. No, take a bath. How would you say that? Sweet. Like swim. I couldn't swim. Oh, why? Uh, because I'm kind of sick. Oh. Okay, so where did you go? It's called Playitas. Okay, can you give me a sentence? It is in, in La Unión. Really far from here, from San Salvador. <laughs> yes. I just came back from there um, today in the morning. Oh, nice. Yeah. The beach, beaches at uh, Oriente are the best. Yeah, the beaches at the eastern side are the best. 
Okay, very good. Ah, people, you need to practice this a little bit more, okay? Well, we need to continue. Yes? Uh, sorry for the, the interruption, but I only I only say that when at the beginning of this class I have problem with the internet and when you pass list, I don't say present and I think that you do you put me. Okay, Diana, I will do it, okay? Okay, thank you. I thought that you wanted to participate. <laughs> Okay, very good. Let's continue, people. What do we have here? Well, we can continue. We have some questions here, look. Yeah, no problem. We need to practice this a little bit more. Let me show you this. Uh, See, we have different questions here. Some of them are simple, are in simple past, and others are uh, in present. Perfect. Okay. For example, if I ask you, let me go to the list again. Ada Veronica. Ada. Hello, Ada. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, Ada, look at this question. Did you make your own breakfast this morning? Did you make your own breakfast this morning? Yes, I did. Oh. Uh, uh -huh. what, what did you make? I made sandwich. Okay. I make is present or past? Present. How do you say? Yes. Yo hice sandwich. Made. I made uh -huh. a sandwich with coffee uh -huh. and That's it. Okay, very good. Thank you. Uh, Cecilio. Okay. Cecilio, did you go out for dinner last week? Yes, I do. Where did you go? I went. Huh? Where me decía, where do you go? Yes, where did you go? I went. Uh -huh. Where? I where I I were went go out for dinner last week. Yeah, but my question is where? Where did you go? I went to Pizza Hut, I went to uh Pupuseria, I went to uh, Pollo Campero, where did you go? I went to Pupuseria. Okay, good. Thank you. Let's see. Claudia. Hello.
Hello. Hello. Okay, Claudia, have you ever tried frog's leg? Mm, no, I haven't tried frog legs. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Okay. Good. Would you like to try them? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> Why you don't, you, said, don't... you said you you've tried it before? Yes. I have tried how them. was it? What they were good. They are like a, a, a chicken mix, a mix <laughs> between chicken and fish actually. Yeah. Weird. A mix between chicken and fish. But they are good. They are delicious. I mean. <laughs> and they look like frog legs. Sure, definitely. It's only the name. <laughs> oh no! Oh, they, they, are... <laughs> they are really frog legs. They are frog frog legs. Definitely, yeah. Isn't this dangerous? No, not, no. It's just meat. We're meat. <laughs> Well, Not for everyone. Why? <laughs> Just meat, muscle. No. The legs are <laughs> muscle. <laughs> it's like eating a crab. So mm -hmm. you eat the crab. What's the name of this? Oh, I, I love the name. The hands. Crab. Mm. It's different. Why? What is <laughs> Because that's it's something more common than frog legs. <laughs> okay, okay. We don't eat frog in Salvador. We don't. No. <laughs> Why not? You, you should go you should go to Huayua. They it is not that usual. Oh my goodness. In Huayua, they sell that dish. Maybe they, they, um, really? there are a lot of Chinese people. No, no, <laughs> In no. no. it's delicious. <laughs> Exotic food. Oh. I don't think I, I would try them in the future. <laughs> okay, let's see who else. Uh, Miguel, Miguel is here. Miguel, are you there? Miguel one, Miguel two, Miguel three, knockout. Okay, what about Sylvia? Are you there, Sylvia? Yes. Okay, Sylvia. Have you ever cooked a large dinner for some friends or family? Yes, uh, every night with my husband. Uh, ah, okay. That's good. And what did you cook for dinner today? Today is meat with, uh, I don't know. How do you say picado de verdura? Oh. Perdón, picado de carne con verdura. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, I, that, that sounds like fajita. No. Mm, no. No, ah, okay. Mm. Okay. Vegetables with meat. Yes. Uh, vegetables okay. with meat. Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you. Okay, people. Sound delicious. Yeah, that's delicious. I'm starving right now. <laughs> really? You haven't had dinner yet? I have, but uh, I didn't feel myself. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, let's take a look to this vocabulary about cooking method. 
cooking method. See? We have a uh, bake, fry, roast, boil, barbecue, steam. Yeah, these are some cooking method. Bake, fry, roast, boil, barbecue, steam. Let's see, how do you cook fish? What method can, can be used to cook fish? What do you think? Try. Fry. Steam to. Steam. What is okay. what is the meaning of a steam? Steam is. Steam. Um. Uh, how can I tell you? Explain it in <laughs> English. Because steam. in the in the draw, uh, yes, in the in the picture, I see a uh, like a soup. I think. I no, think it's the it's Baño a... Maria. <laughs> no, not really. It not is really. a vapor. It's like al vapor. Yes, only with the smoke. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. with the vapor. Vapor is with the vapor. Okay. Vapor. Yeah, steam. Mm -hmm. Okay, fish only fry and steam. Okay, what about shrimp? What about what? Shrimp. Shrimp. Don't you know what shrimp is? No. Me no. I don't know. Anybody knows? Shrimp? Shrimp. Shrimp. It is shrimp. Camarones. Yes. They are delicious. Yes. How do really we are delicious. I uh, love them. Yeah, I love them too. So, how do we cook shrimp? Yes. All that oil. Oil? Yeah. Fried with oil. <laughs> Steamed, fried. Steam. Fried. Roast. I think roast. Yes. Roast. Could be right. Yeah. Okay. Eggs. Potatoes. No, eggs. Fry. Boil. Egg. Fry. Boil. 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 Yes. Chicken. Steam. 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 Fry. Roll. Egg. Fry. Boil. Roll. Oil, <laughs> barbecue, yeah. Barbecue, yeah. All forms. <laughs> All <laughs> beef. 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 Just the same. <laughs> yeah. All forms, right? All methods. Yeah. All of them. All of them. And potatoes too. Big potatoes. Rice, too? Oh boy. Big potatoes. <laughs> fried potatoes. <laughs> boil. Barbecue, yeah. Mm. Onions. Fried. 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 Oh. In the soup, you not boil. In when you oh, yeah. uh, make a soup, you boil the onion. Boil. Okay. Eggplant. Oh. oh. Barbecue, roast, fried, steam. Do you like eggplant? What is that? I don't I, remember. I, I like them. Oh, oh. I don't like. I don't delicious. like. No. <laughs> That's horrible. Have you tried uh, eggplant lasagna? No, don't ruin lasagna. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. 
I don't think so. I don't. Think. You sound like <laughs> uh, an Italian person saying, okay. "Don't ruin spaghetti by cutting them in the middle." Uh -huh. When you said, "Don't ruin lasagna," uh... forget about it. <laughs> lasagna? No, I like lasagna with meat or chicken. But eggplant lasagna, I don't think. Not you okay. put you put uh, a chick chicken too with eggplant. It's delicious. I with, recommend it to you. With cheese, with how do you say cheddar? With with cheese, cheddar. Cheddar cheese. Cheddar mm -hmm. cheese, and you make oh, oh, no. it's oh. delicious. Claudia, are you a veggie person? What? Are you a veggie? <laughs> A veggie person? No. No, oh, really? no. No. <laughs> okay. Because I don't okay. like eggplant too. Neither. What about bananas? Hey. Hey. Really? Yes. Yeah. Fried is, is weird. Steam? I don't need No, fried because banana banana, really? banana could be platano. Yes. Boil. Yes. Boil. A steam. Steam. Uh, Okay, so you have the different methods, okay? Cooking food. Okay, what else do we have? Well, we have a conversation here between Kate and Jim. Wow, what is he eating? Look, what? what Look what this man is eating. <laughs> Bread with banana. Bread with banana and peanut butter. Peanut butter. Do you like peanut butter? I love it. Me too. <laughs> I love, but I don't have vesicula. <laughs> you don't have I don't. what? Vesicula. And when you eat, uh, what do you say? Ah, what do you say? Grasa. Bad. Bad or sugar. It's bad for my body. Yeah. Because I don't have the people. In appendix. That's true. I'm sorry. That's because sad. Peanut butter is delicious. Okay, especially the chunky. You know what chunky means? With a little pieces of peanut. Okay, let me read the conversation and record it for you. Conversation. What's your favorite snack? Oh, it's a sandwich with peanut butter, honey, and a banana. It's really delicious. You, I've never heard of that. How do you make it? Well, first you take two slices of bread and spread peanut butter on them. Then cut a banana into small pieces and put them on one of the slices of bread. Finally, pour some honey over the bananas and put the other slice of bread on top. Jump. Yeah, it sounds awful. <laughs> I like peanut butter with with jam or marmalade. Oh, that's good for me. But for me banana, too. Banana? Oh. Well, maybe I'll give it a try some one day. Okay, one more time, listen to the conversation. What's your favorite snack? Oh, it's a sandwich with peanut butter, honey, and a banana. It's really delicious. You, I've never heard of that. How do you make it? Well, first, you take two slices of bread and spread peanut butter on them. Then, 
cut a banana into small pieces and put them on one of the slices of bread. Finally, pour some honey over the bananas and put the other slice of bread on top. Jump. Yuck, it sounds awful. Okay, to each its own. Good. Now, oh, I just let me mark this. These words first, then, and finally. Okay, we are going to study those words. Those are called sequence adverbs. Sequence adverbs. We have some other sequence adverbs here. Then, first, then, next, after that, finally. Those are called sequence adverbs. Let me show you a video we have on the platform about that. Okay, let me prepare the video. Here it is. Watch it, please. Hello everyone. By the end of this class you'll be able to describe how to prepare food using sequence adverbs. For example, you'll be able to take a recipe written on a piece of paper and be able to explain it. In order to illustrate this idea, let me play an audio program so that you can see how this topic is used. This is really easy. First, you put a little oil in a pan then heat the oil. Next, put in the kernels and cover the pan. When the kernels start to pop, shake the pan gently every few seconds. In about a minute, the popping will slowly stop. After that, turn off the heat and pour it into a bowl. Finally, put a little salt on it and enjoy. I love this snack. First, Take an avocado and mash it. Next, you chop half a tomato and half an onion and add them to the avocado. After that, you chop a little cilantro and add that in. Then, put in some lemon or lime juice. Finally, add a little salt, pepper, and of course, hot sauce. Mmm, it's great with chips. A friend from New York City taught me how to make this. First, cut it in half, then toast it. After that, let it cool a little and then spread cream cheese on it. It's really good for breakfast, but you can eat it anytime. Now let me get started by explaining what sequence adverbs are. This topic is quite simple. Sequence adverbs are words that will allow you to explain processes to others. In this case, what we want to do is explain food recipes. But you can explain any other process using sequence adverbs. So the sequence adverbs that we will cover in this lesson are first, then, next, after that, finally. Similar to the audio program, in this case we can see that there is a recipe. So on the top we see the recipe on a sheet of paper, right? We see three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, uh, and we want that to be melted. And what we want to do is we want to be able to take this recipe and then we want to use sequence adverbs to explain it, right? And so we use the first one first, mix the peanut butter and mashed potato together, then we use another sequence adverb, we use then, 
lightly toast the slices of bread. Next, spread the peanut butter and banana mixture on the toast. After that, close the sandwich and put it in a pan with melted butter. And finally, fry the bread until it's brown on both sides. And what we basically did was that we organized our ideas and we explain, in this case, a food recipe. We use sequence adverbs to do this. And so as I mentioned, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and then we use finally. And um, what I would like to point out here is that all of these words are synonyms. What this means is they're the same word, right? They mean exactly the same thing. And the reason that we want to use different words is because we don't want to sound too repetitive. So for example, we don't want to express this food recipe in the following way. First, mix the peanut butter and banana together. Then, toast the slices of bread. Then, spread the mixture on the toast. Then, put the sandwich in a pan with butter. Then, try the sandwich until it's brown on both sides. We don't want to do that, so therefore we use different words to explain And what I would like to point out when talking about this topic is that first should always come at the beginning whenever we want to explain some sort of process or we want to give some sort of recipe. Finally, should always come at the very end, so that should be your concluding uh, step. Then next and after that are interchangeable. This means that you can uh, start with first mix the peanut butter and banana together next toast the slices of bread after that so they could be interchangeable there's no rule that says that uh, then it needs to come after first you can use those three interchangeably and the last thing that I would like for you to do is to think about your favorite food recipe and I want you to write down all the ingredients that you're going to need. So for example, we have, in this case, three tablespoons peanut butter, one banana mash, two slices of bread, two tablespoons butter, and we want that to be melted. And then you use uh, those um, sequence adverbs in order to explain your ideas. So for example, we use first, we use then, we use next, we use after that, and we use finally. So I would like for you to do something similar, but explaining your favorite food recipe. Okay. So you see those are sequence adverbs. Let me go here to the manual. Okay, look at this. We have a recipe for barbecued cap. Hmm. No idea what caps are. A recipe for barbecued kebabs. Kebabs. Look at the pictures and number the sentences from one to five. Okay, which one is the first? Which one is the second? So we have to do that. The pictures are in order. One, two, three, four, five. Now the sentences, you have to put the sentences in order. Okay, and then you have to use these words to complete the, the sequence. Okay, first, which one is number one? Let's see. Number one is this. Charcoal. Yes, put charcoal in the barbecue. Put charcoal and light. in the barbecue and light it. 
with lighter foil. Yeah, that's number one. Let's see, put the meat and vegetables on the skewers. What number is this? Number two. This? Put the meat and vegetables on the skewers. This is the number, number three. three, I think. Number three, yeah. Take the kebabs off the barbecue and enjoy. The fun number five. Put the kebabs on the barbecue and cook for 10 to 15 minutes, turning them over from time to time. Number four. four. Number four. And cut up some meat and vegetables and put them in a bowl with your favorite barbecue marinade. Marinate for 20 minutes. Number, Number two. two. Number two. Okay, now we have the sentences in order. You have to write the sequence adverbs correctly, okay? Well, actually, the first one and the last one are cannot change. But in the middle, we can use uh, different, okay? So number one, definitely, would be first. Yes. And number five, Finally. Finally. Then these ones. Then next. And after that can be used in this thing. Okay. I think that you can use after that in the number two. And say after that you could put up some meat and vegetable and put them in a bowl. Actually, that's what they 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 said in the video. Okay, so then next after that, okay. you can use any of them. Okay, because they they mean the same thing. They are synonyms. Then next. After that, are synonyms. But for the step number one, definitely first. And for the last step, finally. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Okay, people, complete the exercise. And we'll continue tomorrow. We're going to check it tomorrow, okay? Because it is time to stop tonight. Thank you, teacher. Good night, okay, everyone. Okay, have a good night, people. Take care. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody.